Hello everyone. Now I will explain PDF problems. Under continuous random variable we have PDF. Now using PDF formula how to do the problems I will explain. Now the first problem is uh, read the first problem. A continuous RV continuous random variable x follows the probability law f of x is equal to a square a x square f of x is equal to a x square 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 determine a find the probability that x lies between 0.2 and 0.5 this is the given question here a continuous rv is given directly otherwise also we can find if x lies between certain limits if x lies between certain limits means it is continuous random variable now to do this problem we know the pro, we know the definition of pdf what is the definition of pdf the pdf definition is a uh, fx of x is always integrable between certain limits fx of x is always greater than or equal to 0 minus infinity plus infinity fx of x dx is equal to always 1 these three are the properties or definition of pdf now that's why we know already that one we know that uh, we know that integral minus infinity to plus infinity uh, f of x dx is equal to 1 fx of x or f, f of x dx all are same fx of x uh, uh, f of x dx is equal to 1 but this is the formula that's why between certain limits means we have taken minus infinity and plus infinity but our limits are given between 0 and 1 0 and 1 f of x so what is our f of x dx is equal to 1 0 to 1 f of x what is our f of x a x square is equal to 1 a is a constant outside integration of x square is x cube by 3 limits are 0 to 1 a by 3 into upper limit minus lower limit is equal to 1 a by 3 is equal to 1 a is equal to 3 a is equal to 3 if you substitute a is equal to 3 now f of x given function f of x is equal to 3 x square 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 f of x is equal to a x square Z, x, uh, 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 that's why I wrote in the given problem now what we have to find next uh, determine a find the probability that x lies between 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 that means p of x value 0 0.2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 0 0.5 is equal to integral 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 f of x dx integral 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 what is our f of x 3x square dx 3x square dx now 3 into x cube by 3 0 0.2 to 0.5 upper limit minus lower limit 3 3 cancel and simplify if you upper limit minus lower limit if you apply 0 0.117 you will get this is the answer if you go to the second problem in the same way such type of problem only a continuous random variable in the given question we will read a continuous random variable has a probability density function f of x is equal to k into x minus 1 whole cube x lies between 1 and 3 in the remaining cases if x lies between 1 and 3 if x lies between 1 and 3 f of x value is this one in the remaining cases the value is 0 now what we have to find find k find the distribution function that means capital f of x we need to find now the solution is we know that already we know in the previous problem we showed we know that integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 now our limits are integral 0 to 3 our f of x is k into x minus 1 whole cube dx is equal to 1 that is equal to k into x minus 1 whole to the power of 4 by 4 is equal to 1 k by 4 upper limit minus lower limit is uh, limits are 0 to 3 0 to 3 if you simplify now x minus 1 whole cube dx is x minus 1 whole to the power of 4 by 4 
होल क्यूब लिमिट्स आर् जीरो टू वन का वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री एक्स लाइज बिटवी वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री अपर् लिमिट मैनस् लोयर लिमिट के बै फोर इंटू अपर् लिमिट मैनस् लोयर लिमिट इफ यू डू अंड इफ यू अप्लाई द लिमिट सिक्सटी यू गेट दट इज ईक्वल टू के इजल टू वन बै फोर ना इफ यू सब्सटिट्यूट के वैल्यू यू गेट एफ आफ एक्स इज ईक्वल टू एफ आफ एक्स इज ईक्वल टू वन बै फोर इंटू एक्स मैनस वन होल क्यूब होल क्यूब वन लेस देन आर ईक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन आर ईक्वल टू थ्री ना वी हेव टू क्यालुलेट डिस्ट्रिब्यूशन डिस्ट्रिब्यूशन फंक्शन कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स इज ईक्वल टू वाट इज द फार्मुला पी ऑफ एक्स लेस देन आर ईक्वल टू एक्स एक्स लेस देन आर ईक्वल टू एक्स वी आर् इन कंटिन्यूअस रैंडम वेरिएबल Our formula is between certain limits. Continuous means between certain limits minus infinity to plus infinity. Now x less than or equal to x means you will get minus infinity to till x f of x dx. X less than or equal to between certain limits according to the formula. Our limits are minus infinity to plus infinity. Now x less than or equal to x means less than less than side is minus infinity to Till x, now that is equal to now to find this one minus infinity to I'll draw the number line to go minus infinity to minus infinity to uh, x minus infinity to x we have to write now f of x a p of x less than or equal to x minus infinity to x f of x dx but in the number line. My, to go to the minus infinity to x now our limits are x lies between 1 and 3 x lies between 1 and 3 now to go to, to find minus infinity to x first we have to find minus infinity to 1 1 to x two values i'll split into two parts minus infinity to x f of x dx plus 1 to x f of x dx I will split this one into two parts. Minus infinity to x. To find minus infinity to x, I will split this one into two parts. Minus infinity to one and one to x. Minus infinity to x is The minus infinity to x value zero will get plus one to x f of x dx. One to x is one to x one by four into x minus one whole cube dx. This one we will keep as it is. One to x that is equal to one by four into x minus one whole to the power of four by four. That is equal to one by sixteen into x minus one whole to the power of four. This is the answer. Capital F of x. X minus one whole cube integration is x minus one whole to the power of four by four. One by sixteen into. Therefore, f of x is equal to. If x less than zero, the value is zero. If X lies between one and three. The value is one by sixteen into x minus one whole to the power of four. If x greater than three, the value is one. This is the answer. Thank you.